Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to set the format flags to a specific IO streams in C++. So in the previous tutorial, I have explained to you about, you know, what is a stream, what are the stream classes available in C++ and also about some information on the format flags. So here in our program, let's say we want to print a number 100. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use C out and I'm going to insert the number 100 and we're going to end that line. That's it. Now, if I build and run this program, we get 100, you know, the 100. Now, what if you want to print a positive symbol along with this number, you know, when it is a positive number. At that time, what we can do is we can set some flags to the IO streams. In this case, it's going to be the O stream and, and, and then we can print the numbers in whatever the format we intended. So here to specify or set the format flags, you're going to use a function called setEF. So the setEF function is defined in the IOS class and this function is going to return the format flag you know which we're going to set related to a stream and also here you know as a parameter we need to specify the format flags that we want to set so <clears throat> and, th and the next thing is you know this setEF function is closely associated with the streams in C++ and that's why you know we can uh, we need to use this function along with the streams a particular stream so there's no other way that you know we can use this stream globally and make all the streams get affected we can't do that you know we need to use it with a particular stream if you want to affect the input stream you need to use the set a function and set the flags if you want to affect the uh, output stream then at that time you need to use the output stream and uh, set, use this function so here for the demonstration purpose what we're gonna do is we're gonna print this number along with a positive symbol if this number is positive so to set the flags for that i'm going to use a c out first you know which is an object of the hostim class and then the dot operator and then the function which is set f and then here we need to specify the flags so these flags are defined in the ios base class you guys can see here in the pop-up ios base class and we have a class called ios you know which inherits from that ios base class so we can uh, use that flags from the ios base class or ios class so here i'm going to use ios you know because you know it just reduces some typing time and then the scope resolution operator and then we need to specify the flag show pause which means show positive symbol and then add the semicolon here and now if i build and run this program you guys can see a plus symbol before this 100 so whenever we insert a positive number here you know we get the plus symbol along with that for example i'm going to paste it two more times and i'm going to change this number to 65 or uh, um, 89 any other values and build and run this you know you guys can see the plus value suppose we have a negative number here let's let's make this 65 as negative and if i build and run this we get uh, you know minus 65 there's no plus sign all right in C++ we have a lot of format flags for example show base you know which causes the base of the numeric value to be shown and then the show pause you know which we have learned here you know which, which causes a leading plus symbol to be displayed you know before uh, positive values and then we have bool all you know when it is used booleans can be inserted or outputted by using the keywords true and false and we have a lot more for example uh, we have base field which can the flags like hex, oct and uh, dec you know for the hexadecimal, octal and the decimal numbers and then we have adjust field you know which uh, consists of the right left and the uh, internal fields and uh, you know there are a lot of format flags available in C++ I suggest you guys to google it and uh, learn more about them you know in it you know in this one tutorial i can't explain all the all of them in detail i just want to show you how to set the format flags so here the next thing that i want you guys to teach you is for example let's say you want to set two or more flags at that time what you can do is you can uh, you know write the statements again and again or you guys can combine them using the or operator so here for the demonstration purpose i'm going to set another flag by using the or operator and let's say i want to I want to display a decimal symbol and trailing zeros here. So at that time, I can use another flag called uh, show point. All right, now, you know, the decimal uh, 
point and the trailing zeros will be displayed. I think we need to use them with the floating point values. Let's build and run this and let's see whether it works or not. Okay, it won't work. We need to use the floating point values here. For example, let's say 2 and uh, 65.3 and 89.8. And if I build and run this right now, and now you guys can see we get the decimal point along with the trailing zeros. So this is how you guys can set um, two or more flags by using the R operator. And the next thing that I want you guys to teach you is about uh, another version of this set EF function. So sometimes you want to affect only the specified flags. For example, you want to only affect this show position flag. So whatever the value is set, we need to reset that and you want to affect that. So at that time, what we can do is we can use another form of this set EF function. So it is going to be the set of function and then the first flag and then a comma and then the second flag so the second flag must be the same flag so now what happens is you know this show position flag will be cleared first and then it is set with the flag we specified here so just i'm going to build and run this so now you guys can see we get the plus symbol and the next thing that I want you guys to teach you is, you know, how to unset the flags when we have set it. For example, here, you know, we want to unset both these flags. At that time, to unset the flags, we can use a function called unsetEF. This unsetEF function is also defined in the iOS class and also this function is used along with a stream. Here, we're going to use it with uh, with an object of the stream class. It's going to be cout.unsetEF and then we need to specify the flags so it's going to be ios or show positive numbers and uh, okay now we're going to set only this one and i'm going to build and run this okay we need to add a semicolon and i'm going to build and run it again and now you guys can see you know the show pause effect is gone or you know that flag is unset and the last thing that i want you guys to teach you is how to set all the flags so here what we can do is we can group the flags that we want to set for example auto and uh, flags you know a variable name and then we can group the flags for example ios show pause and then uh, our symbol ios show point and then uh, maybe the ios show base and then what we're going to do is we're going to use another function called flags. So this flag is also a function available in the iOS class and we need to use that along with our streams. So here it's going to be C out and the flags and then we're going to pass our flags. So this flags is a variable, you know, which we have passed here as a parameter and this is a function name. So we're just going to change this one to flag and change this one to flag. So build and run this. Now you guys can see, you know, the same effect is returned. So this is it guys. This is how you guys can use the set EF, unset EF and flags function to set some particular flags to the IO streams. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.